Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question comes to us straight out of the judge vault, and it was requested by viewer Sam Philiber. Amy plays a fatal push against Nick's hill giant. Nick then points out that no permanents have left the battlefield this turn, at which point the players call for a judge. What is the appropriate infraction, penalty, and fix? Okay, so the first thing that I want to do in order to answer this question is to take a close look at exactly what it says on Fatal Push. In particular, let's notice that when it says what kind of target Fatal Push needs, it just says target creature. It doesn't say anything about what kind of mana value that creature would have to have, the way you see on something like, for example, Easy Prey. Nor does it have a templating like with the Blood Chief's Thirst, where it has one type of target if it was kicked and a different type of target if it wasn't kicked. Nope, the only thing that we see on Fatal Push is target creature, and therefore that's the only thing that the game is going to look for when deciding whether Fatal Push has a legal target or not. It's just looking to see if Fatal Push targeted a creature. Now, it is true that what Fatal Push does after that point is going to depend on what the mana value of that creature is, but it's legal to target a creature with any mana value with Fatal Push. It doesn't have to be a creature that the Fatal Push will affect in any particular way. And so with that being the case, Playing Fatal Push against the Hill Giant in this case is not against the rules. It's perfectly legal for Amy to do. If Amy had used one of those other cards that I talked about, then we would be dealing with a case of a game rule violation because Amy didn't choose a correct target for the spell that she cast. I made a video a while back where I talked about how you would handle a situation like that, and I recommend that you give that one a watch if you're interested in that scenario. But for the situation that was presented in the original problem statement, because Amy didn't do anything that was against the rules, the correct play here for a judge would be to issue no infraction and have the players continue on in their game. Well, at least that would be what I would say if the situation happened at competitive rules enforcement level. Now, it is true that there are some situations where players are allowed to reverse decisions, but the situation here where Amy clearly gained information in between when she made the decision and when she wanted to take it back, that would not be something where policy would support reversing the decision. So it wouldn't really be policy supported for you to allow Amy to take this play back at competitive rules enforcement level. On the other hand, if we were dealing with regular rules enforcement level, I think that it would be appropriate to be a little bit more lenient here. Amy certainly did make a play, and there was an idea behind the play, and with the philosophy behind regular rules enforcement level of having fun and fair events, I think that most people would agree in a lot of different cases that this would be a situation where you could consider a backup to allow Amy to save the fatal push for a time when she would be able to destroy the hill giant. Finally, before I sign off, I wanted to mention one other thing about the fatal push, and that's that it is legal for you to target any creature, no matter what its mana value is, with the Fatal Push. And the time when the game checks to see whether your Revolt is active or not would be at the time when the Fatal Push resolves. So that means that if, while the Fatal Push is on the stack, Amy has some way to make a permanent she controls leave the battlefield, for example by cracking a fetch land or doing something similar, well, in that case the Revolt would be active at the time when the game checks it, and the game would be able to destroy that hill giant in that case. So that would be one potential idea that Amy might use if she does find herself in this sort of a position. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another Daily Ruling. But until then, I hope you have a great day.